The European Union has recommended suspending 7.5 billion euros in funds to Hungary over corruption allegations. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban is accused of mismanaging EU funds and dismantling democratic institutions. The money is intended to bring Hungary's economy and infrastructure up to the bloc's standards. The suspension must be approved by a majority of EU member states within three months. For more, let's cross over to DW correspondent Terry Schultz in Brussels. Terry, you know, some of this isn't new. The European Commission has been accusing Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban of dismantling democratic institutions for nearly a decade now. Why this decision only now? That's certainly true. The allegations against uh, Prime Minister Orban on corruption specifically are definitely not new. In fact, the EU's anti-fraud office investigated how Hungary spent EU funds from 2015 to 2019 and found that 4 percent of that money had irregularities tied to its spending. So this is certainly something the Commission has wanted to get a handle on for a long time. What has changed and what is new today is their ability to do this. And that's because a mechanism created in 2020 was challenged challenged in court by Hungary and Poland, who figured they would be among the first targets of it. And in fact, that was only confirmed, the legality of it, in February of this year. So that's the mechanism that the European Commission is using now to try to withhold money from the EU's general budget. Now, there has been another effort to keep money from Hungary over its, its uh, rule of law and, and corruption um, allegations from the Commission, and that is by withholding approval of Hungary's recovery budget for COVID measures. And and that's a $6 billion fund. So that's been held up as well over these corruption charges. Uh, but this certainly seems to have struck a chord in Budapest. Struck a chord in Budapest. How has Budapest been reacting to this? That's right. The, the Hungarian government uh, knew this was coming. And in recent days, it suggested that it would change its laws and uh, put in place some more anti-corruption measures to bring itself into compliance with what it believes the commission wants from it. And they said that these laws would be passed the middle of November. So certainly it remains to be seen if that goes through. EU member countries have yet to cast their votes, as you well know. So what happens now? That's right. This will go to EU heads of state and government now. And uh, the commissioner, Commissioner Hahn, today gave Hungary two months to change its laws, to prove, he said, that it was going to improve its performance in rule of law before the, the EU heads of state would have to make a decision. They've got three months to make that move, and Hungary has said that this will be in place in two months. So uh, really, it will be a bit of a waiting game, and I'm certain that, certain that we'll see a lot of politics on this move play out before that. Terry Schultz on top of affairs in Brussels, as always. Uh, many thanks.